Hey, game makers! Today we're looking at a simple little plugin that lets you modify the title screen by Mute Day 92. This tutorial was also requested by Mute Day 92, and if you would like to support future plugins from them, there will be a link in the description. Anyway, what this nifty little plugin does is let you easily modify aspects of the title screen layout. This isn't any sort of completely redesign the universe plugin, but it's a nice little addition if you enjoy using the default title screen. Note that literally all of the parameters have pretty simple and easy to understand instructions in the help file on how to use them. First set of parameters are for the command window. It gives you a nice little option to add an exit game to your menu via true or false. Under that will be the text that appears in the game. In this case, just exit is fine. Next is the command window's X and Y positions. These will call a code that adjusts its location automatically, but putting a set number instead also seems to work just fine. Command layout will set start, continue, and such to either vertical or horizontal, so up or down or across the screen. For this example, we're going to set it to horizontal for variety's sake. The following parameters are for the window opacity, background opacity, and font size. Having them set to negative 1, we'll use the default settings. You can also set the opacity for them between 0 to 255. As for the font size, well, it, it's a font size. <laughs> Another nice little thing this plugin adds is the option for a version number to appear on the title screen. To add this, enable it by setting it to true, and the text underneath will display the version number you input. Now, prefixes. As the help file nicely says, this can be used to add icons and such. Now, I do not have icons, nor do I have any idea what sort of code or command I would use to call them, so we're just going to be leaving any of these blank. To be honest, I think icons are tacky anyway. The same sort of command entry thing also applies for suffix. The version window's width, opacities, and font size all follow the same rules as the previous bunch, so all the same things apply here. On to title and image text! In this section, you can disable the text from showing and change the background image. In title text, null will set it to default, and none will disable it from showing completely. Now under title image, null will use the default one. If you want to use a different image, you can save it under your games folder slash image slash picture and type in the name of it without the file type extension. Though, I honestly can't fathom why this would be necessary, as you can change the background in the database. But I'm not a scripter, I'm a tutorialer. So moving on! Title Image Hue lets you change the color of your background image if you chose to use a specific graphic from your pictures folder. Note this will only take effect if you're using the picture name input. It will not take effect on the default background. Basically, just input a number and keep trying until you find something you like. Font size is the font size of the title text, if you're using it. Other options! False will apply the window tint that you can select in the database. True will keep the window skin its original color. This applies for all three parameters here. Lastly, command text options. I believe these follow the same system as the earlier prefix and suffix parameters. Again, I'm not familiar with any of the commands that would be used here, but for you scripters out there that actually know what you're doing, or just feel like learning, there's a little blurb at the end of the help file for extra features. Now, I have exit on, my normal background, my version is set to version 3.6, and my normal text is showing. My version number is a little cut off due to my font size being so huge, so we'll have to go and readjust that. If you're a bit more of an artsy type like me, you might feel that the default game name text is just kinda bleh. <laughs> so we're going to go back into our plugins options, turn off versions and title text, go back to vertical, change out our background image in the database, and with the power of image manipulation, we can now make our title screen uber custom and pretty cool by having our game info on the background image itself. And that's all for today. See you later, gamers!